Tootsie's not watching Paw Patrol for a week. What did we do wrong? Ava, you know exactly what you and your brother did wrong. You guys pranked the entire class and it wasn't even funny. So, therefore, you guys aren't going to watch your favorite show for a week. A week lasts forever, yeah! Well, too bad, so sad. Because if your teacher has to call me saying that you guys misbehaved, then... I have every right to punish you two. Oh, hey, Mom, I finished my homework. By the way, where's Emma? Um, I'm not sure. Have you checked in your room? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Thanks for telling me. Hey there, Emma. Go away. What, what do you mean, go away? This is my room, too. Yeah, but I don't want to be bothered. So... Yeah, if you could leave me alone, that would be nice. Okay, Emma, why are you acting like this? No, no. I'm just mad. Caitlin, you better shut up before I throw a chair at you. Why are you gonna throw a chair at me? Because I'm so angry, I, I really want to get physically violent for it now. I'll just leave the room right now. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Yes. Why is Emma threatening to throw a chair at me? What she's doing? What now? Yeah. You know, I really don't know. I just know that solving violence, solving anger with violence, is not going to help anything. I need to go talk to your sister. Emma Anderson. Yes. What do you think you're doing? It's one thing to be angry at your siblings, it's another thing to like, look, to like, almost throw a chair at your siblings. I need you to apologize to Caitlin right now. I don't feel sorry, I don't care. You need to apologize. I'm sorry. I, uh, forgive you. Good, now just please let me play on my phone. And please leave me alone. Please don't talk to me. Okay. Anyways, I have to deal with the twins. Later that evening. Alright, good night, you two. I've read you guys your bedtime story, and it's time for you guys to go to bed. Uh, how long has your Caitlin, how long has your sister been asleep for? Um, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours. Well, it looks like someone's finally going to bed early. Great, good night. Already, Emma. Already sleeping. And good night, Caitlin. I'll see you two in the morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, Mommy and Daddy. Yeah, what he said. Morning, guys. Good morning, family. Whatever. You're really just not gonna say anything? I did. I'd be saying it a lot louder if my mouth wasn't so tired. You know what? Just give me a pencil of paper. I'll break down everything today. So, I made this nice stuff for breakfast that you see right in front of you. So, feel free to eat up. Anyways, family, guess what? Guess what we're gonna do on Saturday? Are we going to Toys R Us? Are we going to Disneyland? Uh, are we going to the mall? Honey, are we taking some sort of expensive trip? Because, you know, like, starting next month, we are going to go on a budget. And when I say we, I'm talking about you and I, not just me. There's no I in team. But honey, I think you're gonna like this. Look, having to take having to pay the bills, take care of five children, take care of our cat. You know You know, we do spend a lot of money. Well, what I was going to say is that we're all gonna go to Disneyland on Saturday. 
I knew it. I knew we were Disney Land. Disney Land, yay! That's even better than Toys R Us. And besides, we haven't taken Danielle to Disney Land yet. And we definitely didn't take the twins there either. Can I go pack my bags right now? Yeah. Don't you have school today? I really don't care. In fact, I don't even think I want to go there. <sighs> I'd rather just rest here, if anything. Man, even writing this down on paper is exhausting. Uh, Dad, have you noticed anything different about my older sister in the past past month? I'm getting used to it, cause she's gonna be a teenager soon. See, when you're a teenager, puberty really, really messes up your body. It's something we all have to go through in life, honey. Because that's when your body goes from being very, like, from a very young little kid into, like, a big kid. Like, almost an adult body. Anyways, I think you should get your backpack because you have to go to school. Oh, there's the school bus. You don't want to. Don't want to be late to school. <sighs> so if I cared about being late or not. Uh, guys, where are you? You know you guys have to go to preschool. Wait in a minute. There you are, Matthew. Uh, I don't. Who you? I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> nice try. Oh man. Now, have you seen your sister? Uh, I don't know. Wait a minute. This is kind of open. I don't remember leaving this open. Guess who I found? No, I don't want to go to preschool. That's too bad. On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, kids, are you excited? Go on our trip today, even though your father's wasting his money? Yeah, yeah! And what about you? I don't feel anything. I really don't care. I don't feel anything. It's like I'm numb. Well, it looks like you're going there anyways. Playing on my phone. You haven't found any rides yet. Come on, I'll take you on one. Cute one? I'm serious. I don't want to go on any. Especially if there's a long line for it. See, isn't this fun? <laughs> fun. What is fun anymore? No, I'm serious. This is the best time I've had in my whole life. You know, the last time I've had fun was... Actually, I can't remember when it was. I'm gonna buy a picture of us. So, did you guys enjoy yesterday's trip? Yeah, oh yeah. It was so much fun. Yeah! Oh yeah! That was fun. I agree. Emma, are you okay? Just leave me alone, please. I just wanna cry. I'm disappointed that we had to come home for vacation, though. Actually, it wasn't really a vacation, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But, like they say... Like they say... Oh, when something good and something else good comes along. <laughs> oh, there you are! So, it's been a while since we've seen each other. <laughs> Uh, uh, what are you crying about? Just nothing, okay? I'm just crying about nothing. It's pointless, okay? I keep telling you, it's pointless. It's useless. I don't even deserve anything good. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, something that you clearly wouldn't get. Oh, I'm alright then. <laughs> just wanted to make sure you're s You, like... Still live here. So, do you want to talk about school or anything? Eh, not much is going on except for the bullies I have to deal with 
every time I walk into that place. And I think my parents are going to be disappointed when they see my report card. Why? Do you have, do you have like D's and ups on your report card? Well, probably. I haven't been able to do any work. What sucks? Um, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm telling you I'm fine. Okay, uh, we can text each other, like, tomorrow. So, uh, hey, big sis. How are things going? Caitlin? Yes? You're good at keeping secrets, right? Yeah. There are plenty of things I've done that mom and dad don't know about. <laughs> And you're sure you won't tell mom or dad about this, right? Positive. Caitlin, I feel that there's something wrong with me. Like, actually, I don't feel. I just know there's something wrong. And it feels like I'm slowly just deteriorating. Like I'm a corpse or something. Yeah, I feel like a corpse. Like, I have some sort of weight holding me down. Point is, I really don't know how to tell mom and dad about this. I think it would be better kept. I think it would be best if it's like a secret between the two of us. I don't want to think I'm strange or anything. Understandable. Uh, if you need someone to talk to, I am the one you can talk to. Do we really have to go to the boring doctor's office? Yes, you do, Matthew. And so do your, some of your siblings. And I'm going to be taking you to the doctor's office too, because I don't think any normal preteen sleeps for hours on end, just out of nowhere. No, I'm, I'm fine. And also, you're overdue for your annual checkup, so, you know. And you have to get that, that every year. Wait, do I have to go to the doctors as well? And the answer to that question is yes, because you also have an appointment. You have to get your checkup done too, just like all of your other siblings. Oh man. Wait a minute, I forgot to schedule your appointment. So it looks like you're gonna have to go to the doctor's office tomorrow. Yes, I just remembered that because I'm a busy, I'm a busy, stressed out parent with five children to take care of. I'm gonna play on this computer. Okay, honey, uh, watch Caitlin while we're gone, cause I forgot to make her her appointment for today. Honey, oh yeah, I can tell you're buying useless stuff on Amazon again. It's not useless. Yes, it is. Like, as if we really needed fancy schmancy curtains for the windows when the ones we have work just fine. Oh, I'm sorry I want this place to look like Beverly Hills. We don't have to look like we live in Beverly Hills, okay? Especially with five children. And now it's time to play on my computer. Two hours later. Hey honey, how was the kids' ap doctor's appointment? Well, not so great. Honey, we really, like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, right now, we absolutely have to penny pinch. After what happened today. And we might even have, like, one of us might have to work overtime. What's about the curtains again? Well, kind of. Do you really think money grows on trees? And do you think therapy and pills that are going to, a four hour child are going to pay for itself? Well, no. Honey, we are in a situation where we cannot spend ridiculous amounts of money on stupid things. And right now, our eldest child is important. Oh, I see you kids are watching TV. Yay! Okay, because I'll leave you guys alone. 
I don't know it's how much time for bed, so come on, I'll put you guys to sleep. The next day, oh, I'm taking leave. Hey, hon, where are you two going? I'm just gonna win some things for show and tell today. Looks like we finally enjoy preschool.